The Easter egg is not so hard this time. Oh, this is just a power switch. And um, another thing, another section. Now this is a really cool one, and I really like this idea. It's p the power-up section. So you would go under this power-up um, settings menu, and you could kind of like with the weapons, um, kind of like with the kind of like with the weapons in the box, how you can turn which ones off or on that you don't want in the box you could do that with a power-up. So say, all right, say this, right? Now, we all know that you can get a ray gun out of the box and they're really good weapons, but think about how different the game would be if you couldn't get a max ammo. If you turned off max ammo and that way you would actually be forced to save your ammo and your ray gun and conserve all the bullets you can because you know eventually when that thing runs out of ammo, you're not getting any ammo back because there's no max ammo because you turned off max ammo in the settings. So that could open up so many new challenges for the community. Like we already have challenges like, you know, camp in this area, use these certain perks and stuff. But if you could actually make those challenges and make the game mode, like say you could literally make the challenge as a game mode, save it to your file share if they did something like that, and then people could try out the challenge, see how far they get it, uh, see how far they get in the challenge, and then tell you what they did. I mean, it all that stuff is so... It, it just sounds too good to be true, but it's really not that hard to do. I don't, I don't know, like, why can't you turn off the power-ups? Say you don't want... Say you don't want any nukes or any insta-kills or any double points or any of that. What if you could turn off every one... And then the only power up you get is a fire sale. So in grief, every time you see a power up, it's a fire sale, and then everyone just runs for the box. And I th I think that'd be pretty f cool. Like you just get the fire sale all the time. I don't know. Like little stuff like that is cool. Uh, I guess you could get a max ammo every time. That would be kind of lame though. But I think it, the the most interesting thing is not having a max ammo. If you could turn off certain power-ups and specifically the max ammo if you could turn off the max ammo and oh, what, what, like it's hard to explain but if you were actually in a situation like you know the thunder gun right the thunder gun's really good but it does have a limited ammo com uh, capacity but when you have max ammos coming in like once every couple rounds you're always getting refueled with ammo. It, you don't feel like you're running out. Like, you do feel like you're running out at the time, and that's basically when you lose in zombies is when you run out of ammo. That's always how we used to lose back in the World at War days. But, um, like, it's it's really hard to explain, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm going a little bit too fast, but it, it just seems like that would be really cool if, it's like, yeah, that guy, he got the Mark II. Save all your ammo, man. You you need it. Every time you get into a trap, you got to use it. All right? Just don't use it at all unless you're in a trap. It's the only time you should use it. I mean, it just makes sense to me. I don't know. Stuff like that would be cool. Like the Thunder Gun, only using the Thunder Gun on Ascension or something um, when you need it. I already, That's what I pretty much did with the Thunder Gun anyways. But it would kind of uh, develop that whole... Uh, scarcity or scarcity, however you say it, uh, idea of your ammo is going low and you can't get it back. It really makes your situation more hopeless and gives you that um, kind of I'm going to die eventually feeling. And so not only am I talking about turning off power-ups and turning on power-ups, I'm also talking about what you could do with the power-ups. Now, if you played Black Ops 1 multiplayer, and this is kind of weird because I, I swear Black Ops 1 multiplayer has almost more customization than Black Ops 2 multiplayer. But uh, in Black Ops 1, what you could do with the perks is you could amplify their effect. So, 
say, lightweight, you can amplify that like times four. So you run times four as fast. Uh, you, you run four times as fast as you normally would with lightweight. And same with like extreme conditioning, like scavenger, you get more ammo. Extreme conditioning, you, um, uh, what was it? Yeah, extreme conditioning, you run a little bit, you run four times as far if you amplify it four times up. Um, I think, yeah, steady aim, yeah, I remember steady aim, if you put that all the way up, like four times, I think, it's almost like your gun does not even move or shake at all. It's just basically right on target. It's really awesome when you, I remember doing that with snipers and you're just no scoping <laughs> and you're just getting one hit kills all day. But, um, if they could do that with power-ups, uh, which they might do, which they've already kind of done, if you think about it with the perma perks or the persistent perks on the actual maps, uh, like, for example, one good one is insta-kill. Uh, the persistent perk of that is you get a red insta-kill and then instead of just shooting them, they die instantly, but if you just touch them, you don't even have to shoot or knife or anything. If, you, if they touch you, they just die instantly. Now, but I'm not really saying changing it, it, its effect or something, but what if you could amplify its, if you could amplify its normal effect? It's kind of hard to explain. Like, for example, if you could say max ammo gives you twice as many ammo, um, you know, twice, twice the times of ammo, or triple the ammo, quadruple the ammo, it would really bring out, uh, a lot of interesting things in grief because someone would see max ammo run get the max ammo hurry and everyone would be dolphin di you could just see eight people dolphin diving into it like I, I could just picture that in my mind right now um, I thought about the nuke because uh, you can't really get better than a nuke uh, um, there's nothing it could really do better when you amplify it so I, I thought about it and I was like well, maybe if you amplify it, you get more points. You know how you get a certain amount of points? I forgot how many points it is. But you get like a certain amount of points after you use the nuke. And what if that certain amount is doubled or doubled or tripled or quadrupled? And of course, everyone in your team gets the points. So to get an extra 5,000 points from getting a nuke, that would really be awesome because you're playing grief and you're, it's all competitive and everything. It's all it's still a fun time. Everyone's like trolling each other and stuff. And then that you just see that one nuke across the map, really far out there. You snipe the zombie or something. There's a nuke sitting there, and then all the teams look up, and they're just like everyone just starts running towards it. But that one guy with stamina, up, that one guy with stamina, up, just dolphin dives into that thing. His whole team gets 5,000 points each because it was like an amplified nuke because the, the nukes in that game, in the settings of that game, uh, were amplified, were better. Um, their effect was better, so they got way more points, and it really uh, turned the tide on the other team because they had more points. They could pack a punch some weapons, get some more stuff, etc. I mean, the list goes on. I could sit here all day and come up with stuff, but um, like Carpenter could get maybe give you more points as well there might be other things maybe carpenter gives does it like a steel like the steel barriers i don't know um i could think insta kill insta kill i guess you could just say god i don't know i guess i guess if you touch them if you touch them i guess the perma perk could be one like if you amplify they if they touch you they die or if they or maybe they die within just a radius around you kind of um that could be a couple of ways to amplify that. Um, fire sale. And this one was kind of funny because I thought about in what ways could you amplify fire sale. And now that I think about it, um, now that I think about it, actually, why I, I didn't even have this in mind while ago, but I do now. Um, what if you could increase the time fire sale is active? Uh, so that's that's what it does when you amplify fire sale times two times three times four. It increases the time. Um, so you could basically have uh, like two minutes of a, or like I, that might be a little bit pushing it, but you know what I mean. Just that's still cool. Like you, you can customize stuff like that. Like a fire sale lasts four times as longer. Uh, and same now with 
now that I'm thinking about it, same with the insta kill double points. Um, yeah, insta kill and double points mainly. You have them longer. That would be the way to amplify them, really. Uh, or double points gives you more points. That would be the way to amplify that one. It would like increase the amount of points you get. Uh, like triple points, uh, quadruple points, and stuff like that. Um, but max ammo, max ammo, what you would amplify that that one that one would be really easy actually you just get more ammo it that's as simple as that you get more ammo in your gun even though i guess your gun can only hold a certain amount i mean who cares if it has more ammo than usual i mean it's a custom match it doesn't really matter <laughs> but um but that brings me to um my last kind of big topic and this is about points um uh, I kind of wish there's a way in grief or just in a custom match survival. I wish there was a way that you could customize the way the doors were bought, the way the perks were bought. Um, I mean, the list goes on. Pack a punch, everything that costs points, essentially. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you could have a little option thing where there's a little options tab. So under power-ups, uh, no, not under power-ups, but like, you know what I mean? You have custom perks, custom settings, hardcore mode, or just the mode, uh, mystery box tab, the spawn weapons, wall weapons, um, and then the power-up selection um, settings. And that's all in the settings. Like, these are all little... Uh, menu things in the settings and the last one would be like um, costs like costs and you could customize how much a door costs in there you could customize how much pack a punch cost how much a perk well you I guess you could say in per and also in the perks tab you could customize how much each one costs because that would be cool it wouldn't be that hard to implement I don't see how hard it would be it wouldn't really change, like, you wouldn't change the coding of the game to do that, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It, I mean, that would be cool if you can make it so Juggernog, Juggernog is, say, 5,000 points. And that would really um, be awesome because Juggernog, to me, seemed a little bit underpriced than it should be. I think it should be 3,000 personally. Because it's better than sleight of hand in every way. Um, but yeah, I, I really think you should be able to customize like the cost of things. And like the box, uh, the, how much it costs. The, um, uh, what, what was something else? Like the wall weapons, yeah. And going back to like the fire sale, when you're customizing the fire sale. And amplifying its stuff, amplifying it up more. I was thinking that you could, you know, it, you get it at a cheaper price. I know it sounds silly, but get only at five, only at five cents or five points instead of ten or something like that. Maybe you could customize the cost of the fire sale. Um, just something like that would be pretty interesting. And and say you made it, made pack a punch, made pack a punch ten thousand. It would really change the way the game is played because in grief you're saving your money. To get good weapons, you have to decide if you want to waste your money on the box for a little better weapons, or if you want to save your money up to up to ten grand um, to get a to get a pack a punch weapon, and it will really make you think about what your tactics are. I mean, if you think about it, every grief game on town, especially, I do the same thing. This is what I do: I shoot some zombies with a pistol. I get some points. Uh, whoever opens up, the, I usually try to let the enemies open up the jug door first. You go buy jug, that's part part two of the whole thing. And then after you buy jug, you go get galvan knuckles if you have enough points. And then you just knife the zombies, get a billion points of galvan knuckles. And, um, yeah, you just get a billion points of galvan knuckles pretty much until you can't knife them in one hit. And then I like spinning the box afterwards after I have all those points. I don't like wasting money on the box. That's not who I am. I'm not a, uh... I'm not a money waster, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, that's, um, 
the main thing is that I wish you could change the core mechanics and the core ideas that are in place in your head. Like, Jug is 2,500. What if that was changed? It would change the way you spend your points. It'd be cool. I, I, I don't see why they couldn't do it. 